Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for advanced English learners. Ready? Well, let's get started. Unusual places in the UK. While the United Kingdom is home to many famous landmarks and attractions, it also boasts lots of unusual and lesser known places that offer visitors a unique and unforgettable experience. Let's take a look at some of them. The enchanting village of Port Merion is nestled along the coast of North Wales. Designed in the style of an Italian village, Port Merion is a blend of colourful buildings, lush gardens and stunning architecture. Visitors can wander through its narrow streets, discovering hidden corners and surprises at every turn. With its unusual atmosphere, Port Merion feels like a slice of the Mediterranean transported to the Welsh countryside. For those intrigued by the mysterious and the paranormal, the village of Pluckley in Kent may be of interest. Dubbed the most haunted village in England, Pluckley is said to be home to a plethora of ghosts and supernatural happenings. Visitors can join guided ghost tours and explore the village's eerie past, where they'll hear tales of restless spirits that still roam its streets after dark. Whether you're a sceptic or a believer, a visit to Pluckley promises to be an unforgettable adventure into the realm of the unknown. Spooky. In the heart of Scotland's capital, Edinburgh, lies the Edinburgh Vaults, which are located beneath the city's South Bridge, which were once used as storage spaces and living quarters for the city's poorest people. Today, these are open to the public for guided tours, offering a glimpse into Edinburgh's hidden history. Visitors can explore the vault's eerie corridors and hear tales of crime, poverty and paranormal activity that lurk in the shadows. In the rolling hills of Yorkshire, the Forbidden Corner is a one-of-a-kind attraction. It's part garden and part fantasy world. This quirky labyrinth is filled with secret passageways, hidden corners and interesting sculptures. Visitors can lose themselves in its maze of pathways as they meet surprises at every turn, from cascading waterfalls to towering giants. In the heart of England's stunning Peak District lies the village of Eme, which is known for its unique place in history. In 1665, Eme became infected by the bubonic plague and rather than flee and spread the disease, the villagers chose to quarantine themselves. Today, visitors can explore Eme's historic streets and learn about its story of sacrifice and resilience. From the plague cottages to the haunting plague churchyard, Eme offers a reminder of the power of community. From pretty villages to haunted hamlets, underground tunnels to eccentric museums, the UK is brimming with unusual and offbeat destinations waiting to be discovered. Now, let's go through some of the advanced English vocabulary you have just heard in this story. Blend. To blend is to mix together thoroughly. She blended the ingredients to make a smoothie. Eccentric means unconventional, a bit strange or peculiar in behaviour or appearance. The eccentric artist painted his house in bright, mismatched colours. Plague. We actually have a story on the plague if you were interested in learning about this part of British history. Plague was a widespread affliction 
or it could be a calamity. The plague devastated the population of the medieval city. Many people died of the plague. Resilience. To have resilience is to have the ability to recover quickly from terrible times or difficulties or upsets. Despite famous, uh, sorry, despite facing numerous setbacks, her resilience helped her to succeed. Villagers. Villagers are simply residents of a village. The villagers gathered in the town square for the annual fruit festival. To flee. To flee is to run away from a place or a situation of danger. They had to flee the burning building. Glimpse. A glimpse is a brief or partial view. She caught a glimpse of the sunset through the trees. Infected. If something is infected, it means it is contaminated with a disease. The cut became infected after he neglected to clean it properly. Reminder. A reminder is something that prompts or helps you to remember something. The sticky note on his desk served as a reminder to call his mother. So this is your reminder to call your parents or your mother. Restless. If you are restless, you are unable to relax or rest or chill out. The restless child tossed and turned in bed. To sacrifice or sacrifice is the act of giving up something valuable for the sake of something else. For example, she made the sacrifice of quitting her job to spend more quality time with her family. Eerie. If something is eerie, it is strange and frightening. The abandoned house had an eerie atmosphere. Intrigued. Intrigued means interested and curious. She was intrigued by the mysterious castle. Labyrinth. A labyrinth is a complex and confusing arrangement or structure. The maze was a labyrinth of winding paths and dead ends. Some of London's streets are like labyrinths. Nestled means to settle or lie comfortably within something. The cottage was nestled among the trees in the forest. Paranormal. Paranormal is beyond the scope of normal scientific understanding or explanation. Anything to do with ghosts, basically. The paranormal activity in the old house was said to be caused by ghosts. Plethora. A plethora is an, an excessive amount or an abundance of something. The buffet had a plethora of options, so the buffet had lots of different options of food to eat. Quarantine. Well, we all had to go through this a few years ago. So quarantine is the state of isolation to prevent the spread of a disease. The travellers were placed in quarantine upon arrival. Quirky. Quirky is characterised by peculiar, strange or unexpected traits or qualities. His quirky sense of humour always kept his friends entertained. To roam. To roam is to move about or travel aimlessly and with freedom. The dog was allowed to roam freely in the park. Skeptic. A skeptic is a person inclined to doubt or question accepted opinions. As a skeptic, he always wanted evidence before believing in anything. Spooky. If something is spooky, it is eerie or frightening. The abandoned mansion was spooky. Towering. If something is towering, it is very tall or high. For example, the towering skyscrapers dominated the city skyline. Vaults. We mention this about the Edinburgh vaults. Vaults are secure chambers used for storage and they are typically underground. The bank's vaults contained millions of dollars in cash and valuables. 
We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and the advanced vocabulary explanations. Thank you for stopping by. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Get productive and check out our language learning productivity packs and stories on Etsy. And don't forget to use code YouTube10 for 10% off. You can find the link in the description box below. You can also listen to our stories on Spotify. Search for Lovely English Stories. See you soon.